we're getting set to take a day hike up to South Boulder and Bear Peaks. It's a pretty grueling hike. It's seven miles round trip roughly and about 3,000 feet of elevation gain. Uh, so definitely my most ambitious hike yet. So you can see our objectives ahead. Uh, Bear Peak is on the right and South Boulder Peak is on the left. and already in a tank top. The high today is 90. So I'm gonna be drinking lots of water. South Boulder Peak. So we're about five hours into the hike and it's finally time for me to empty my pouch. Only today I decided to try, try something new, these closed end pouches. And I just thought they would be handy on this hike because it's a really popular trail and it's also a narrow trail that goes up through a canyon. There's not a lot of places to get off the trail to dig a cat hole and empty my pouch. And so I thought, hey, why not try these out on this trip? And so I'm about to, to give them a go. Um, have a fresh one in hand here. And then, uh, I like these little doggy poop bags to put stuff in. And then I'm going to throw this in a double layered Ziploc bag as well. So um, hopefully the change will go great. Wow, that was really easy. <laughs> I'm giddy it was so easy. Um, this is a really great system. Uh, you know, not for every day, but for when you're out. And you want a quick change of your pouch, and um, you don't want to have to deal with emptying it. Two-piece with a closed-end pouch is definitely the way to go.
hike mountain goats and wind our way up the trail. to the top of our second peak, Bear Peak, and just like the other one, there's lots of flies, so we are going to get out of here. <laughs> so we just made it down from the summit of Bear Peak and out of the fly zone, and I can't believe how great I feel. Um, boy, my muscles are a little tired, and cardiovascularly, I and maybe not quite in the shape I was before, but energy-wise, I just feel amazing. I feel like superwoman. Um, I don't think I realized before I had my colon removed how much it was really causing me pain and you know, affecting my iron levels and making me very exhausted. And now that it's gone, I just feel so, so great. And um, it was one of the best decisions I ever made to have that surgery.